Hello everyone, welcome back to 38 Minutes of Permadeath. I already shot this video, but I made a mistake, so I'm going to do it again. <laughs> today is an awesome day. Uh, today is the final episode of 38 Minutes of Permadeath. I've already packed up the save and put it in a safe place. And um, today we are celebrating a bunch of stuff. Uh, Sword has one year anniversary, and uh, I was so honored to be a part of that. And also, Game Mode. Game Mode made 2001 subscribers such a great community. Um, I'm very, very honored to be a part of that. And uh, the way that I'm going to show that is we are going to go to Isha West Minor. Isha West Minor is, uh, I'm just going to go up this hill for a second. Well, they got one species left. Isha West Minor is uh, the planet that Steve from Game Mode woke up on when uh, he entered Eisentam Galaxy for the first time. There's our portal. This is the planet we woke up on, Ikuseth. <clears throat> I also have a very tiny base started, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, if you don't know who Game Mode is, I'm putting um, a link to his channel in the description of this video. And uh, you really, really should go check him out, subscribe. And uh, he's just amazing. He's written a, and produced a bunch of tutorials. Uh, I think it's still linked. Let's go. <laughs> And uh, he has a save in Isentam where we're at on this very planet that we are going to. Well, the portal doesn't go there, but we will go there. <laughs> Incoming storm. Oh no, that means we're going to have a storm on Isha West. I was here before, several months ago. NMS player, that's me. I came here with my other permadeath save. That save is tucked away someplace safe as well. He also has a um, new game save in Euclid. Um, and uh, he's doing quite well on that one as well. <coughs> he's uh, been working really, really hard lately. Uh, he just uh, went to the Wales Comic Con. If you're into cosplay, uh, then there's a lot of that there. Uh, and uh, he has a vlog he has a second channel called Game Mode Plus uh, which I really like that's Isha West Minor right there Isha West Minor is really special um, it has the cutest little teeny tiny diplos on it we're going to go take a good look at Isha West Minor uh, also, um, I just hit 2,900 hours of gameplay just in this video. <clears throat> it's going to be stormy because there's a storm on the other planet, but normally there isn't any storms here. Oh, maybe it'll clear up for us. That'd be nice. I can find a convenient place to land. Scanner recharging. <laughs> Would be nice if we'd have some daytime. <laughs> Game mode has uh, tutorials uh, for Atlas Rises for Next and for Visions. <clears throat> All really great tutorials. <clears throat> he also live streams. And uh, he's just awesome. He's absolutely the most chill uh, No Man's Sky player. <laughs> he is just great. Oh, there's a little teeny tiny guy. Steve had a hard time finding this guy. We'll feed him. 
That'll keep them around for a minute. <laughs> Is it cloudy? Oh, that's a big cloud. <laughs> it's uh, it's really funny. Um, like I said, I had to shoot this video. This is the second time now, and uh, it's uploading right now. I have to delete that upload and start over. And the reason is because, <laughs> for some funny reason, instead of saying that I had 2,900 hours, which is what I have, I started playing August 12th of 2018. There's the Diplos. They're adorable. I kept saying 3,000 hours, and I know that's not right. <laughs> I knew it when I was saying it, but I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. <laughs> there they are. They're pretty cute. They have little shield heads. Little teeny tiny black pokey things for eyes. Look at their shield head. <laughs> Where'd he go? There it is. <laughs> They're tiny, but we can make them look really huge. Let's do that. <laughs> and their funny little bottoms. They're running away. Well, that one was eating grass. I bugged him. I'm sorry. Is that a baby? <laughs> this is such a gorgeous planet. I'm going to drop down a booster right at the beginning here so you can see it. Here we go. This planet is safe in all modes. His save in this system is normal mode. And mine, this is obviously permadeath. So we have 031A, 0085, 032A, 0028. And I'll leave that on the screen for a second. If you come to Eisentam uh, Galaxy, which is the 10th galaxy, you can uh, put this number in the Pilgrim Star app or in Zane's Galactic Calculator. And um, you can come through the portal, the portal I just came through, and, uh, and look at this beautiful planet. So I found all the species while I was here, but I didn't upload them. I'll leave that for somebody else to get the nanites. We don't need any nanites. I did take the zoology for it, but that's available for everybody. Look at these beautiful trees. It's such a great color uh, against this beautiful grass. This is the kind, see, I don't really like the orange grasses, okay, but this color is so soft. Uh, and you know so easy to look at it doesn't bother me at all and I don't know how many episodes Steve has but he's walking around this planet and um, I'd have to look at the channel and see what the episode number is but he started from where he woke up and uh, he's walking north and uh, I think he's about maybe a little better than two-fifths around the planet not quite half almost half and uh, and there are so many interesting things here it's such a gorgeous place it's a Viking system I believe um, and uh, so lovely I have to tell you I started watching game mode um, after uh, after a time, I've been watching uh, Ivy Mike and Gaming Mike play the game for quite some time. There's the great big Strider right there. He's got a big top-heavy head. And I just happened upon game mode one day. Um, it was a little bit after Next dropped. It was after I started playing. And... Um, He's got some great content. He is so, so nice um, and polite. And he doesn't swear, which I really appreciate. I think I've said two swear words the entire time that I've been making uh, content for YouTube. <laughs> One of them you can't really hear. <laughs> I was busy loading my gun and shooting the predator that was about to kill me. That I think that was on this series. <laughs> and uh, 
was the other one? I don't remember now. I remember what the word was, but I don't remember why I said it. Not terrible words, just, just not nice. <laughs> well, got ourselves a little tiny cave here. Hope it's tiny. I don't think there's any creatures in the caves. Oh, we got album and pearls, though. And we got a grassy cave. There's a grassy bottom. That's cool. I like that. Oh, there's another way out, maybe. <laughs> At any rate, I started watching game mode. And at first I thought, uh, how does he survive anything? <laughs> and then I realized that he's uh, just so confident and, you know, just knows just what to do, what he needs. And uh, he just takes what he needs. And uh, he just keeps going forward. And he survives. <laughs> you don't have to be super aggressive and um, reckless like I, I am. <laughs> I call myself reckless, but it's all very calculated. Look at how that's lit up. How cool that looks. What an amazing cave this is. It's a lot more than I thought it would be. But, uh, like I said, um, he stays very calm and gets the job done. His uh, tutorials are awesome. We're going to make our own exit here, I think, rather than going all the way ba backwards. Oops. Got to get in the exit. There we go. <laughs> I think the way we went in is right there. <laughs> we just made a big circle. He, uh, he loves exploring the planets. And uh, he does a little bit of ship shopping. Um, that's always fun because he looks at all the ships. He doesn't, he doesn't just look for the ship he likes. You know, he shows you everything that's there. And... Um, and it's always a great time. Always a great time. Every single video of his, of his is enjoyable to watch. He also has a second channel called Game Mode Plus. And uh, he does other games. He also plays Subnautica. Um, I like Subnautica. I play Subnautica also. But I won't be uh, producing any content for it. Um, I've never completed the game because I just like uh, the planet, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, he's completed the game a few times and uh, he has videos for that. He started, I believe he started in Minecraft. He's got a lot of content for Minecraft and uh, he's got... Uh, his uh, normal new game save in Euclid and his normal Ice and Tam save. He also has a creative mode save uh, where I learned how to make cuboid uh, room bases and they are my favorite. Look at, there they are. I love using cube rooms because they're so pretty and they're so clean. Um, and they have lots of cool attachments for lifting them off the ground. And um, Just a few weeks ago, he did a new creative mode uh, base building uh, video. Uh, oh, there's a little tiny guy running through. I <laughs> wonder if you could feed these guys. You sure can. Look at that. <laughs> oh, the whole herd's coming. I hope I have enough with me. Pretty sure I have enough ferrite dust. You want some too? Um, anyway, uh, in his newest video, uh, he had forgotten how to do uh, stairwells, and he sat right there and figured it out. 
and um, it's something that I've always had a problem with, and I'm so glad he did it because uh, I really, really wanted multi-story cube rooms, and um, thanks to him, I know how to do it now, and uh, I also learned uh, using camera mode to find your way um, when you first wake up on a planet. Did you get to eat? Not everybody did, I don't think. How about the baby? Does the baby get to eat? There you go. So when you first wake up, that's where I learned that from. He tells you to go into camera mode and look around and find resources or find a cave or whatever you need. I learned that from him. And uh, I always try to give credit to the people that I learn things from, if I can possibly remember it. Of course, I also learned a lot of things the hard way. <laughs> it's always much better to check out a uh, video. Uh, and uh, as Cobra says, watch, wait, buy. And you can really uh, have a much better time. Look at this. I'm surrounded by diplos because I'm feeding them. <laughs> you can always have a much better time with any game that you play. I'm getting pushed around. <laughs> uh, if you watch the game being played first, <coughs> excuse me, by people who know how to play it. So you might have a favorite YouTuber that you watch, plays a lot of, a lot of different games. But maybe they're not someone who plays No Man's Sky regularly. They're just playing it because there happens to be an update. Well, it's better uh, if you seek out someone who's actually been playing No Man's Sky for a long time and watch them how to play. Look how the sun's going down. This planet spins really fast, by the way. Um, anyway, it's better to watch somebody who's... Uh, look at all the copyright lighting up the grass. Watch someone who's been playing whatever game you want to know about for a long time uh, rather than watching someone who just uses the game for content because they're going to make mistakes that are going to lead you down the wrong path. And um, the main reason that I started to create YouTube content <laughs> is because <laughs> I'm watching all the copyright. <laughs> The reason that I started to make YouTube content is because I love this game and it's a beautiful game and um, I know how to play it really well. So I wanted to make sure that I knew how to play before I started making content. And um, I, I want to share the good parts of this game and I want you to be able to play the game and enjoy it yourself. And that's what Steve does. Every single one of his videos uh, he's teaching and um, it's just amazing and I try to model myself after Steve as much as I can there's um, there's no doubt that I like a good walker battle <laughs> and uh, I like I like doing the, the battles in space I enjoy that but that's not what the game is about I think that's just a drop pod yeah we don't need that um, I, I like the fighting, but like, like I said, that's not what the game is about. The game is about exploring. The game is about a chill exploration experience. And to that, Hello Games has given us millions and millions of planets and star systems in 255 galaxies. And, um, and also some mission content. You can see the copyright from here. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, <laughs> the Artemis mission is a 30-hour mission uh, from beginning to end. We spread it out uh, from the beginning to the second part. Dreams of the Deep uh, can take as long as you want it to take, to be honest with you. Um, if you uh, take the time in the Nautilon to travel to each um, location in Dreams of the Deep. It can take quite a bit longer and you'll see a whole lot more um, of the ocean. I think a lot of people like I did just get in their ship and fly to the next location. I mean, you know, some of them can take an hour or more to get to. 
and uh, Atlas Rises is the shortest one. It's a it's a quick mission to get the Star Seed is the the final part of that mission. But along the way, there's the nine or ten star systems that are involved in that, and um, and you can you can enjoy that path or. Or you can also choose to just free explore. Uh, after Awakenings ends, there's an option to either accept guidance, search for answers is what it's called, or free explore. I've actually never done the free explore. Um, I'm always worried that I'll miss out on the, all the nanites that the uh, that Nada gives you in the anomaly. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've never done it, so maybe I'll do it as a test and just see. Like I said, this is the final episode of 38 Minutes of Permadeath. We're going to start a new Permadeath series uh, in a few days. And on that series, we're going to um, build up uh, our ability to travel. And we are going to travel manually. Uh, from our starting planet all the way to the center of the galaxy. And uh, I don't think I'll go through. The second galaxy is called Hilbert. I don't think I'll go through. I might. I don't know. It's a very long, long way off. But um, we'll do this. Oh, that's sodium. We'll do this. Um, we'll do this again. And um, with all this much better equipment that I have now and uh, being used to using uh, the equipment and hearing my own voice while I'm talking. The first few uh, episodes of 38 Minutes of Permadeath are kind of rough and, uh, and the sound problems all settled down for the most part. Every once in a while we have a hiccup because of updates to different systems. Um, but I want you all to uh, I really appreciate every one of you. We're at 83 subscribers, which is just astonishing to me. It's It makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm so glad that other people are enjoying and loving this game as much as I do. And that's really my only uh, goal here. And uh, I'm not interested in making a living at this. I just want to share this beautiful beautiful game that Hello Games and Steve Murray, uh, Sean Murray, excuse me, too many Steves, Sean Murray has given us, and to share with you my 2900th hour on this final episode of 38 Minutes of Permadeath. It's been an amazing experience, and we had a great, great run here. This guy's solid. You know, the only thing that could kill him now is user error. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. I'll put a link to Steve's channel in the description along with a link to Sword's channel. Happy Swordiversary, Sword's first year of, uh, of streaming. He streams several times a week. He's amazing. And uh, I want you all to have a great day. Thanks.